Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy and welcome to another Logic Pro video tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create clean radio edits for your songs. And this method will also work if you're creating a clean version of spoken word content, like podcasts, interviews, essentially any audio that's going to go on TV or radio. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say that my way is the best way, this is just the way that works for me. This is the method I find most helpful. And it's this mainly because it allows me to not have two different edits of a song or a project. This method also does not make you create two different versions of a vocal track, one explicit and then one clean. You can do all of this with one track and then one sidechain track that can be turned on or off. With this method, there is a little bit of setup that's involved, but then you can essentially just click a button to turn on or off the clean radio edit. Again, while just having one vocal track in your mix. So you're not having to duplicate your vocal tracks and duplicate your edits or duplicate your mix changes. But before I get into the tutorial, I wanna quickly tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Boombox. Boombox is the ultimate file sharing and collaboration platform for music industry professionals. If you're sick of scrolling through email after email of collaboration notes and revisions, you've got to give Boombox a try. With Boombox, you can store full DAW sessions, you can upload bounces of mixes, multi-tracks or stems, you can have collaborators leave time-stamped feedback on your tracks, and I haven't even gotten to the best part yet, the Boombox Sync app. This allows you to add files to your Boombox folder in Mac OS, and all of these files will automatically be synced with the Boombox web app, and it'll also be synced with the mobile apps for iOS and Android. If you wanna try out Boombox for yourself, head over to boombox.io today to get four gigabytes of free storage. Okay, so I've got my multi-track project here. This is a song called Now That You're Sober from my band, Right Stripped. We released this back in 2021. This is not the full finished mix. This is just like kind of a raw multi-track uh, mix with just a few scattered plugins. So don't judge me too harshly if the mix doesn't sound great here because it's, it's not mixed. Um, but you can apply this technique to a full mix you can apply it to a mix that's maybe already been converted into stems. But if you try to do this on like a two track, if you've already mixed everything and bounced everything out as a two track, it's going to be a little more problematic for you because we, we only want to edit the vocals. We don't want, in most cases, just the lead vocals unless the backing vocals also have explicit content in them as well. So let's give this a listen. This is the second verse of the song. Okay, so we've got a swear word right here. This is the only swear word in this song that would actually need to be censored for a radio version. I embrace fucking nothing but this love shoved in your face. Okay, so traditionally there are many different ways that you can approach creating a clean edit and censoring just certain words. One of the quickest and easy way, uh, easiest ways is just to drag over the part you want to censor with the marquee tool, click on it, and then just press Control M to mute it. And so that's just gonna mute just that one uh, part there. Embrace nothing but this love. And that's totally cool. That's totally fine. You can totally do it that way if you prefer that. But the reality is you're gonna have to create two different edits for your lead vocals. You're gonna have to have one track that's the clean mix and one that's not the clean mix, or you're gonna have to go in and uh, manually unmute and remute all of those uh, regions as you're exporting that version uh, of the mix. I prefer something a bit more dynamic where I can just turn it the whole thing on or off with just one or two clicks rather than having to go back in and re-edit everything. Uh, especially if the song has like a lot of of profanity in it, you may, uh, uh, this method may really help you out. So what I do is I create a new track. So let me just create a new audio track. And this new audio track is gonna be called the clean side chain. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab just the spot that I want to censor. 
and I'm not going to move it down. I'm actually going to duplicate it down. So I'm going to hold option and shift. Shift is just going to keep it in place and that will duplicate down that part. Then I can just kind of re-edit that spot there so it doesn't have a cut in it. And so we have this as a reference. This is the part that we want to censor. Now, what you do at this point is on the, the lead vocal track, after all of your plugins on that track, um, you're going to add a dynamics plugin. And the one we're gonna add is the noise gate. Now we're using the noise gate because we want the lead vocal to duck every single time the clean sidechain track has some information on it. Um, and the way you can set that up in the noise gate is kind of like with a compression ducking effect where you side chain in like a kick drum or something. Here, we're gonna side chain in the clean side chain track. We're gonna set this to the ducker mode, set the threshold all the way down, ducking all the way down, you may feel like you need to play around with the envelope a bit. Um, I usually set the hold to zero and I pull up the attack and release time uh, a little bit, but we'll we'll test it out. But essentially what's going to happen now is every single time um, any information plays on the clean sidechain track, it's going to completely gate the lead vocal track. With this as is, it's just going to sound exactly the same. It's fucking nothing. Right? But if I mute the clean sidechain track, nothing. So when this is playing in the background, it's muted, but when this is playing, it's causing the noise gate to completely duck. And I don't mean like duck just a little bit. This ducks down to, to nothing. It's nothing. But so you're not, you know, you couldn't do this with a compressor because a compressor isn't going to completely get rid of the signal. So the noise gate is incredibly helpful for this. Now, what's great about this is if you have some other way of censoring your your lyrics, like you have like a sound effect or you want to morph the uh, vocal track or maybe you just want to use like an old school like uh, one kilohertz sine wave, you can totally do that. You just replace that information with uh, the source audio that's down here. When you want to go back to the explicit mix, all you got to do is just bypass that gate plugin. It's fucking nothing. But so let's say you have, you know, 30 different uh, radio edits on here. You know, you don't want to have to go into each one of those and unmute them like I was talking about before. This way, all you have to do is just turn on the gate plugin to engage the radio edit. Praise nothing. And turn off the gate plugin to engage the regular, the explicit edit. Praise fucking nothing. But so I find this incredibly helpful, uh, especially if you have a song that has lots of radio edits that need to be made. Now, just to kind of change this up, let's try like a different method. Instead of having my vocal just uh, play here as the source audio, maybe let's split this into two different regions and maybe let's reverse the playback of these. So that we're actually hearing something there. It's just not, you know, sort of a, a garbled uh, mess instead of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the lyrics that are there. Praise fucking nothing. Oh, I got to turn on the gate. There we go. Praise fucking nothing but this. So you can do things like that. You can, um, you know, warp and, and mutate the, uh, the audio if you prefer. One uh, particular radio edit I did a long time ago, it was like a country song, like a, sort of like a bluegrassy country song. And the artist asked me to put like barnyard noises for each of uh, the censored words. And it was like, you know, it's like a comical thing, you know. So every time the singer said shit, it was like a chicken or a cow or something. So again, you're just replacing that sound effect here and it's going to have the same effect. Now, the old school way of doing this is with one kilohertz sine waves. And I don't really recommend doing this for music nowadays, but if you're trying to edit like a podcast that needs a clean version, or if you're editing like uh, people speaking and it's for TV or for radio, or for talk radio, where you have to censor uh, certain words and you want to use the sine wave method, you can also do that. So for example, I'm gonna create a new software instrument track here. And all I'm doing is creating a, a sine wave, just a one kilohertz sine wave tone. Um, so on my instrument, I'm going to load up a utility plugin called the Test Oscillator. 
You can find this under the utility category. And I recommend muting the track because as soon as the test oscillator comes up, you're gonna hear that. It's a one kilohertz sine wave. So what I recommend doing to just create like uh, an audio region of the sine wave is just create a new MIDI region on the track, click on it and then press control B to bounce it in place. Although I'm gonna have to unmute this and then bounce it in place. Okay, so now I can get rid of that software instrument track and I have my one kilohertz sine waves here and I can drag and drop this onto the clean sidechain track. And then essentially anything I want to censor, I can just sort of overlap with this sine wave. And so what I could do is something like this where I let a little bit of the front end of the word in and maybe a little bit of the back end of the word in. I'll pull down the volume of the track because I don't want to, I don't want the sine wave to be so loud that it's kind of a nuisance. But now what's going to happen is the word here, the explicit word is going to be ducked down by the sine wave and replaced by the sine wave. So in this case, I just don't need to mute the sidechain track. I embrace nothing but this love show. And again, if this is like, a podcast or like an interview or something like a long format podcast or interview and you need an explicit version and a clean version and there's like 50 swear words you have to uh to cover up this is a great way to do that and, and again it, it's just this exact same technique and to just turn on the radio edit you just turn on the gate plugin and to turn on the explicit edit you mute the gate plugin and then you would uh mute the uh, clean sidechain track in that case. So there you go. That is what I consider to be the easiest and uh, most helpful way of creating clean or radio edits for music or for dialogue and broadcasting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for your support and thanks for watching.